Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you an absolutely amazing tool for e-commerce product edits, an AI tool which is called Seller Pick AI. I've been very, very impressed with this because this is capable of doing something which the other product edit AI editing tools cannot do, which is that usually most of the tools out there, they're good at just replacing the background when you give them a product. But this is different because this actually creates an entire lifestyle-like image where the product that you're changing is in its own environment. For example, we'll be taking these images, first of all, of this furniture, and we'll be turning it into a lifestyle product edit like this one, where you can actually see someone using the product, which is very important for people who are into e-commerce. We'll also be taking this coffee machine example and placing it in a surrounding like this one. So been very impressed with it, even more so because it actually produced much better results than the latest chat GPT AI image editor that has recently come out. And I'll also be showing you that example later on to compare things. So let's get started. The link to this tool is given in the description as well as the images that we will be using are given to download. The link will be there in the description so you can work along with me. Now let's get started. Once you are on this website, you're gonna create an account. Now it's not completely free. This is one of those freemium tools. You're gonna get 20 credits that you get basically you can see here. So the moment you log into your account, you're gonna see that it says credits left 20. Now for some generations, it utilizes four credits, sometimes two, but you'll be getting, you'll be able to experience this tool thoroughly within these credits. And then later on towards the end, we'll also talk about the pricing plans and if it's worth it. So let's get started. Once you are in this main interface, you're basically gonna go over under the solution to AI product image. And then we're gonna select this option that says lifestyle scene. So this is actually a new feature that they have introduced here. And right now we're gonna start off with that furniture pic. So let's upload that picture here by hitting this device option. All right, so you can see that this is just uploading our image. And once this is uploaded, you basically have two options of creating your lifestyle product edit, which is one is that you can describe the scene via a text prompt. And as you're gonna see later on, that works much better. The second option that you get is you can actually upload another image totally that you have with you, which is about the environment, which shows the environment. And then you can actually ask this tool to basically put that in that scene, okay? So we'll see both these things, but for this example, we'll first of all stick to the text prompt because this works much, much better as you're gonna find out. So what we're gonna do here is you can definitely just describe a scene. You gotta have, you've gotta have some scene in mind. So what I've done uh, just to make things easier here is, I've just gone to chat GPT, I uploaded this particular image and I just typed in something like, I, I want to create a product shot of this furniture shelf item where a woman is placing different objects on it. Create a detailed prompt for this, it should be in the living room. So you can just type anything that is in your mind and you can see if I just scroll down, ChatGPT has done a pretty good job and it has given me this really detailed prompt so I can just copy this, come back here and you really don't have to do anything else apart from this fact where you can change even the resolution and the aspect ratio. So you can see since this is dedicatedly made for e-commerce people, you automatically get different aspect ratios and resolutions for the different e-commerce platforms out there. So that's also great. Right now we're gonna to stick to the default, which is a square. And it's, you can see it's gonna cost me four credits. So let's hit generate and let's wait for the results here. All right, so we've got our results. Let's have a look. So we've got four results. It took less than 60 seconds to get these results. Let's start off with this one. So you can see this is the kind of image I'm talking about, which I've not seen other AI generators make because this is not a simple replacement of the design. You can see that this is an entire lifestyle edit where a person is actually using that product. So this can be great to demonstrate the benefits of that particular product item. And this exactly looks like one of those images that you often see on e-commerce platforms like Amazon. And there are also a couple of things that you can do with this particular image. I'll just talk about that. But first, let's see the variation because there is one downside, which is that sometimes in complex uh, products like this, for example, if you notice our original image, you can see it had 12 of these compartments. But here you can see that there are much more than that. I think 15 here. So sometimes it can get that wrong. But because it is giving you these multiple variations, I've seen one of them is going to get right. So you can see this time it's got it right. And this third variation, and if you see this one again, it's just slightly increased that. And to be frank, it often even doesn't do that. It's usually very accurate, probably just because we had a slightly uh, complex pattern to this furniture. Maybe we've got two results which are wrong, but otherwise I'm still very uh, uh, impressed by the results here. Now, suppose you like something, what you can do is 
the couple of things. One is that you can hit this remix button, then you're telling it that I like this, now create more variations which are similar to this one, so you can do that. Uh, then you can turn this into a video. It utilizes more credits. And to be frank, I was not that happy with the results, but that is something that you can do. Uh, you can also hit this edit button here, and you can do a lot of things like, if you didn't like the background, and in this case, this one won't make sense, but you can actually change the background to something else, okay? Then you have uh, things like, you can remove the background, you can retouch a part, the, part of the image. So if I didn't, let's say, like this particular pot or something, then we can just, you know, kind of mask this and write something new. And it's just going to work like those in-painting tools that we're so used to seeing. Uh, we can also uh, extend the particular image. So it's going to make the canvas bigger. And this will be like out-painting. You can increase the resolution if you want. You can kind of change the color theme if you want. And you have stuff like, again, you know, removing stuff with the magic eraser thing, which is just gonna basically get rid of any distractions. For example, if I didn't want this particular thing, then just paint over it and hopefully that uh, will do a good job. But right now I'm not just doing it because even right now I am on the free plan, so I don't wanna waste my credits because we've got some other uh, edits left also. Now, before we move on to the next edit, what I do wanna show you is that I tried the same thing with the latest chat GPT AI image editor, which we all have been so impressed with, but you're gonna find out that this actually didn't give as good a result. So let's see the result that ChatGPT generated. All right, so this is the result from ChatGPT. I again uploaded the same image and I'm using exactly the same prompt that we have generated from uh, ChatGPT itself. It's just that I had used the create image option. If you haven't checked out my introduction video when this tool was released, do, do check it out. Uh, the link is hovering on top. I'll also leave the link to that video in the description, but you have to know that you need to have a plus account with ChatGPT to access this latest generator. So I use the same prompt. And if I just go down here, you can see that this is the image that ChatGPT gave. Now, this is not a bad image, but if you look at this image, this has that cartoonish AI feel to it, which if I go back to seller pick, this didn't have it that much. And somehow this just looks more like one of those pictures that you see in the e-commerce platforms as opposed to something like this, which has that AI look. So I'm not saying this is bad. It definitely gets close, but overall, I still uh, prefer this particular image because in my opinion, this just looked too polished. Now let's move on to the next edit. All right, so this time we have this image of this coffee machine and this is really going to help us determine whether it maintains the consistency also or not because you can see that it has the name of the product written, the text is there. So we're going to see if it maintains those letters and you can see there are a lot of intricate details like some buttons, the different meters out there. Let's see when it finally produces that image, does it maintain everything? So again, the process remains the same. The first thing I've done here is I went over to ChatGPT, the prompt for this after uploading the image was I'm creating a product edit for this coffee machine. It is placed in a kitchen like environment and a coffee mug is being filled with black coffee create a prompt for this and we got this nice prompt we're going to go back to seller pick let's upload this coffee pick uh, coffee machine pick here all right so our product is ready this time we're going to try both the text prompt as well as the image prompt let's start with the text one since we've already copied that we're going to keep everything else the same let's generate these results and see whether it maintains all the things all right, so our four results are ready. Let's have a look. This is the first result that we've got, and you can see that this looks really, really amazing. Let's see the four results first, then we'll talk about the consistency. You can see even this one has a very different feel to it. It's looks really nice, like a proper product edit. This one also. And finally, we've got this one. So now if we just compare, just to see the consistency, you can see this right next to the main image of the coffee machine, and you can see it's just maintained the text all those little buttons, the meter, everything is exactly the same. And the way it is positioned, that coffee mug with the coffee dripping, this looks like those proper e-commerce shots. So very, very impressive. However, when I did try the image prompt before, things didn't really work that well. Let's see what happens this time. So for this one, I've got this image. And how things are going to work is we're just going to upload this image, which is of another coffee machine. But let's say we like the environment in it. And we just want this to be replaced basically with our own coffee machine. That's how this works. So, so again, once we upload our main picture here, then we'll be able to upload this new picture here. So let's do that. All right, so again, our pick is ready. Let's upload the new picture here. And the moment you do that, it basically brings you over to this particular interface where what you can do is just brush over the area so that you can tell it to replace this with the new picture. 
So either you can just brush over it, or in this case, you can also take the lasso tool and just quickly draw around this. So it'll be faster in, it, in this case. And then it's just gonna make the selection. And that's all you have to do. You, can't, you basically don't have to do anything else because instead of the prompt now, the image is acting as the prompt itself. It's just gonna replace it. And you can see that this also costs you less credits. It's only two credits. So let's uh, wait for the results here. All right, so these are the results in front of us. This is the first result, and this is what I was talking about. The replacement is done in a very good way, but if you just look at the shape of the coffee machine right now, it definitely looks much narrower than our original picture. Let's see the second result also. And I think both the results are pretty much gonna be the same since it's replacing from the image this time, but you can see even in this result, the body looks much thinner. So probably can work, but only for products that are very simple and not too complex like this. Before I close this video, let's just quickly uh, talk about some important things, which is how much does this exactly cost? So if you are willing to pay on a monthly basis, it's not bad at all. You get 500 credits per month only for $29. Also, I should point out on the free plan, when you do download the image, it has those bit of watermarks, so you should be aware about that. And also, I do plan on taking the paid account for this tool so that I, I can experiment a lot more because it's other tools, apart from these product edits, they also have things like jewelry replacement for models, real models, clothes swapping tools, other types of product edits, and from what I could see, the quality that I was seeing in those examples that they're shown, I was extremely, extremely impressed because they looked very, very real and at the same time, very commercial also, which is important in this case. So if you want to follow along all these experiments, make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.